Hey guys, I've been making Alfredo sauce from scratch and I've had numerous people over the years ask me how to do it. So I finally videoed step by step how to do it. I can't take full credit for the recipe because I learned it from the Giant Crab Buffet in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. They have a pasta station up near the front. You can order whatever kind of pasta you want and they made the Alfredo sauce from scratch right there in front of you. So I watched them make it two or three times and I thought, you know what, that's not that hard. I'm going to try it. Turns out it's simple, it's amazing, everybody in my family loves it. So without further ado, here you go. So here's the list of ingredients that I use. If you need to jot this down, pause the video. If you want to substitute, go for it. First of all, I start off with a stick and a half of butter. Get that melted in the pan. And then I use just regular minced garlic. And you want to take two heaping tablespoons, teaspoons, whatever these are called. That's what I consider heaping. Two of those and one, two, into the pool. We're going to cook this on low heat until the butter starts to turn brown and not burn and the garlic starts to get toasty. So what I mean by brown butter, this is butter that I melted and it started to turn brown. That's exactly what we're looking for. Not burnt, but brown. I'm using that to cook up these scallops and shrimp later. Medium heat. Couple takes a couple minutes. All right, all right. Well, we got the butter melting, garlic in there. We're gonna add a little bit of salt and pepper. Just a dash. And a little bit of salt. This is salted butter, so you don't need a whole lot of salt. Just a little bit of salt. While we're getting that melting, you want to go ahead and get ready your heavy whipping cream. And you're going to need pretty much a whole jug of that. And this size of Parmesan cheese, you're going to use all of one. This one was already open, but you're going to use three quarters to... We're going to use all of it because we're going to make a lot this time. This is for my family of four. This does not reheat because it separates, so plan on eating with... Getting everything mixed together over low to medium heat. And this is what it should start looking like. You're going to melt off the excess moisture. And I don't know if you can see there's a little bit of steam coming off. But this is, this is how it should look. Nice ratio of garlic to butter. The garlic is what gives Alfredo its flavor. Believe it or not. Alright, you can see we're starting to get a little bubbly action. That's what you want. You can see here we're still yellowy golden. Haven't started browning the butter yet. Alright, by this time if your family's at home, they should have been in here asking, what are you making? It smells wonderful. Again, we're just trying to toast up some garlic. I've got this on, my stove goes from low to high with the three and the six in between. I've got it on maybe like a four. Always moving it. This is one dish that once you start, you're dedicated to just that dish. You can see the butter starting to turn just a little bit. Not quite there, but just keep everything moving. Don't want anything burnt, nothing sticking. Alright, so now if you can tell, we're starting to get things a little bit brown. I'm getting lots of bubbles, toasty, everything's looking toasty. We're getting real close to dumping in our cream. So have it open and ready and waiting. Getting real close here. If I turn the heat off, it would you would see it would be looking more brown. Bubbles are okay. I'm gonna turn the heat down just a little bit though. All right, that's right there is what we're looking for. A nice toasty brown. The butter underneath there is nice and toasty. The garlic's nice and toasty. Now it's time for the cream. We're going to use the majority of this, if not all of it. So here's the trick. Reduce to low heat. You're going to dump this in. Again, I'm just going by looks here. So that's about, I don't know, three quarters of the bottle. That's what we're going to use this time. And now you simply stir and you stir 
and you stir and it's going to look like this all separated at first that's okay because it takes a while to get the heat on there to get everything to pull together and blend right now you've got cream on bottom butter on top so heat kick it back up to medium heat and we're going to wait till this gets all bubbly and frothy and then it'll be time for the cheese all right you can see we are starting to get everything incorporated it's going to be a little bit longer we got steam rolling off of it a little bit longer till she turns to frothy boil stage this is what you want to see once we start getting frothy like this keep it stirred but once it starts bubbling up once it gets to this stage you want to go for maybe I'm gonna say two or three minutes you can see everything's incorporated now you've just got a white sauce and we're just cooking it down to get it a little bit thicker nice and hot and if you see if I stop stirring it's just gonna foam up real good it's exactly what we're looking for all right, now if I wasn't videoing, I'd be using both hands for this and I'd still be stirring. But I'm going to dump this entire thing of Parmesan cheese in. And you're going to keep stirring, keep stirring, keep stirring. The goal is to get all of this incorporated and melted. Melted being the key word there. If you just get it all stirred in, it's going to be grainy, grainy, grainy. I've dropped the heat back down a little bit. And you're just going to keep stirring and stirring and stirring and stirring. You'll see it go from like a grainy consistency to more of a cheesy, where it's not really stringing, but it just gets thicker. So again, this uses about three quarters of a big jug of heavy whipping cream. And actually, this could stand some more cheese. I dumped the whole thing. This was uh, eight ounces. 8 ounce container. It's got a whole one of those in it. I'm going to add probably another half. Half, third to a half. Cheese is what makes it live. Everybody loves cheese, right? Just to get it to thicken up just a little bit more. Of course, once you, once you kill the heat and remove this from the heat, it's going to get thick. And that's a good thing. Yeah, this is looking better now. So again, get it all stirred in, get it all melted. You can see little lumps in there right now. And we're just about there, so I'm going to go ahead and kill the heat. There you go, folks. You have made your very own Alfredo sauce from scratch I cooked by smell and by look so before I added in this Parmesan if it didn't smell garlicky enough for me I'd add in some garlic powder but this had a nice garlic aroma there you go alright we're cooled down now you can see it's thick we're doing some sauteed shrimp and some what are those called? scallops, scallops. So we're having seafood on bow tie pasta. If I was just gonna do pasta only with this, you could do a whole big two boxes, mix all this in. It's whatever you think. 